Proteins are usually categorized into two categories, globular and fibrous. Enzymes belong in the globular form of proteins. But why? We must go back to the function of enzymes, which will help us explain the structure of enzymes. Enzymes have a specific active site where all the fun things happen, where the substrate will bind for the reaction to occur. This is where the breaking or forming of bonds inside the substrate take place. Each enzyme is reaction specific, which means that um, for each enzyme, it is only capable of catalyzing one reaction. This is because the active site must be complementary to the substrate in order to form an enzyme-substrate complex for the reaction to take place. If the substrate doesn't fit the active site and can't bind properly, no reaction can be catalyzed. What is the significance of this? Well, there are so many different substrates in existence. To account for a seemingly infinite number of different substrates, there needs to be a practically infinite number of different active sites, and thus a practically infinite number of different 3D conformations or structures of enzymes are required. Fibrous proteins are less able to provide that variety of 3D conformations because they are simply just long and repeated amino acid sequences as compared to globular proteins, which allow for a plethora of three-dimensional molecular conformations, accommodating the large variety of substrates.